it is not the quantity of water, but the quality of it that's a problem in Newark, New Jersey. This week, water fountains were shut down in city schools due to lead contamination. As Jerika Duncan reports, evidence suggests officials knew about this problem for years. A memo from the district sent on August 30th of 2014 mandates all schools run and flush each water fountain for two minutes daily before school opens. The same steps applied for cafeteria faucets prior to food prep usage. And principals were instructed to tell students and staff to run fountains for at least 30 seconds before drinking the water. Annual water contamination tests at Newark's public schools were conducted between December and February. On Wednesday, the district turned off water at 30 schools after results revealed unsafe lead levels. Ivelisse Mency's son attends one of them. I send my son to school every day to be safe. This is his safe haven, and then lead is in his water. Lead in drinking water should not exceed 15 parts per billion. At Bard High School, one sample had 558, Branch Brook Elementary 194, while another elementary school tested at 193. Sabrina Oliver says her children's school was impacted. It's, it's water. I mean, I never thought the water was good in Newark anyways, but um, that's, that's alarming. Health officials say it's not Newark's water that's the problem. It's when lead from old pipes and fixtures leach into the water, similar to what happened in Flint, Michigan. Too much lead can damage the nervous system, and young children are most at risk. Next week begins a new round of lead testing at all 67 schools in the district. Jim officials say that the Newark Health Clinic is providing free lead testing for children. Jerika, thank you very much.